Welcome to Car Comparers. Today we'll be comparing the Tata Tiago with the Toyota Etios Leva. So why are we even comparing these two cars? Leva's most popular variant, the GD Diesel, costs 7.65 lakh on road Delhi. Tiago's top-end Diesel XZ variant has numerous more features than the Leva, like infotainment, parking sensors, alloy wheels, rear wash wipe, etc. And yet costs a colossal 1.5 lakh rupees less than the Leva. What we'll be evaluating in this Compero is whether it is worth paying such an exorbitant sum of money for the Toyota brand over the Tiago. Performance and Drivability Tiago Petrol has better engine specs than the Leva on paper. But in reality, the Leva outperforms the Tiago quite comfortably. That is because the Leva is 120 kg lighter than the Tiago. The Leva's engine is also noticeably quieter and rev happy compared to Tiago's coarse and sluggish unit. Leva's diesel engine is a good 300 cc bigger than the Tiago's and it is 100 kg lighter than the Tiago as well. The Leva hardly has any turbo lag making it effortless to drive in city traffic. In contrast, the Tiago requires more frequent gear shifting, but still it's fairly easy to drive in city traffic. On the highway is where the Tiago really disappoints. It has a feeble mid-range, especially compared to the Leva, which makes it really difficult to overtake heavy vehicles on the highway. While the Leva, though not great, is much better than the Tiago for highway use. Fuel Efficiency the Tiago Petrol has an ARAI certified mileage of 23.8 kmpl, which is 6.1 kmpl more than the Leva Petrol. The Tiago Diesel has an ARAI certified mileage of 27.3 kmpl, which is 3.7 kmpl more than the Leva. In our real world tests, the petrol powered Leva and Tiago returned identical fuel efficiency. The diesel Tiago was around 1 kmpl more efficient than the Leva Diesel. Space and Comfort Leva is a marginally more spacious car than the Tiago. The difference is especially noticeable in the rear seat, where three passengers are able to seat comfortably in the Leva, while things get a bit too tight for three in the Tiago. Leva seats are also more supportive and ergonomic, which becomes evident after long hours in the saddle. Both cars have equally good boot space, with the Tiago swallowing 242 liters and the Leva gobbling up 250 liters of luggage. Tiago's interiors are more flashy and attractive than the Leva's, but they are delicate. Leva's interiors, on the other hand, feel like they can withstand years of abuse. Handling and ride quality Both cars are surprisingly good fun around the pens. The Leva's lack of body fat has given it quick responses, but its lack of steering feel and feedback spoils the fun. Tiago also has a keen turn-in and responsive chassis as well as an appreciably better steering response than the Leva. Both cars have a decent ride and adequate ground clearance for Indian road conditions, but again the Tiago has a slight edge over the Leva at isolating the occupants from sharper bumps and potholes. Reliability and after-sale service this is where the Leva makes the most compelling argument against the Tiago. Toyota and Tata's product reliability and service support are from different worlds altogether. Toyota has the best product reliability in the world, supported by equally good service centers, whereas Tata has iffy product reliability, especially on its newly launched vehicles, coupled with lax and backward service support which makes each visit to the service station a gamble. Resale and cost of ownership The Leva is bound to hold fantastic residual value while the Tiago is bound to depreciate steeply after a usage of 5-7 to seven years. The Tiago XZ Petrol has identical cost of ownership as the Leva's G variant while the diesel Tiago XZ works out to be just 25,000 rupees cheaper than the Leva GD. Whatever the Leva loses out in terms of higher pricing, it makes up in resale value. That brings us to the verdict. 
the Tiago XC makes a tempting proposition. It has numerous more features than the Levas G variant and yet works out to be identical to it in terms of overall ownership cost. But it will in all probability take you to the service station for unscheduled visits which the Leva won't and every time you reach there you will repent your decision of choosing the wrong brand. This is the time you will realize that the value of reliability is far more than the electronic and cosmetic trinkets shipped with the car. Plus, Leva is an easier car to drive in city traffic and has more comfortable seating than the Tiago as well. The Tiago appeals to the heart but the Leva appeals to the head. For us, rationality always trumps momentary infatuation with new products, making the Leva our choice of this test.